Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thonamus Lure Company and welcome to this special edition of Thonamus Fishing Tips. We've got a three-part episode coming your way because many of you have asked for it, so now we're gonna do it. I'm here with the Boatless Angler. We've got Antonio with us today and today will be part one of a three-part series, Catching Sheephead. Catching, part two, cleaning, part three, eating. So, part one, we gotta catch them first. All right, so we're gonna do two things. Antonio's already jigging. You got the sting nose on? Sting nose on, yeah. Okay, he's jigging. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna jig as well. I'm gonna put, I've got a sting nose on here. I've got a peanut bunker on. And I'm gonna use that peanut bunker right there. That's a three quarter ounce. And uh, along with that though, while I'm jigging, I'm gonna have a bonus line out. I'm gonna have a drop shot line out. And uh, you can see here, I've got a T-drop. That is um, the Thunderous T-drop. It's an inline drop shot rig. It's exactly what it is. And what I'm gonna do, I tied it on. And with the drop shot, the drop shotting gives you a nice natural, let's call it horizontal presentation. And if I were jigging and moving it around a bit, I would just use an artificial bait. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put a nice night crawler and drop shot that night crawler straight down. So I actually have about three, three and a half, three feet of line. I've got a Thundermist sinker snap on there and I just snapped on, I actually got six ounces of lead on there only because we're fishing in 60 feet of water. So I'm gonna drop this line right down to the bottom and this is just gonna sit there. It's just gonna sit there. And while that's sitting there doing its thing, I'm gonna keep myself busy and do some jigging. So we're in here in 62 feet. You have the sting nose minnow or peanut bunker? Minnow. Minnow, okay. Yeah, silver. Antonio's using the silver minnow. I've got the silver sting nose peanut bunker. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get into some of those sheep head, which we are gonna catch on part one and then clean on part two, cook part three. So stay tuned, folks. <laughs> first cast, first cast with the bunker. And we got our first hook set, Antonio. Any size to him? Uh, I don't think he's that big, which is actually going to be nice because, I mean, we're going to catch and keep today. But the smaller ones are actually better eaters. Because contrary to popular belief, sheephead are actually very good to eat. And they are a lot of fun to catch. Like, we are going to have ourselves just a great time out here today, that's for sure. And it's starting early. <laughs> I would have thought the night crawler would have hit first, but no. The sting nose has stung our first sheep head. All right. Now, when we started to come out today, we had a net with us. And when we got to the spot, we noticed we had no net. So, so here we are, netless. But, oh, what do we got here? Guess what? We got a walleye in Oh, nice. Uh, you want to uh, land this guy for me? We need the, the human landing net. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, we're out here jigging for sheep. You know what? You're out here jigging for walleye, you catch sheep head. You're out jigging for sheep head, you catch walleye. Look at this. That's a good eater. Hey, that's a nice <laughs> chunky walleye right there. I thought it was a sheep head. He was fighting like a sheep head and going down. Okay. Well. That's a start. <laughs> First cast, too. All right, we're gonna do that again. See if we can sting a sheephead this time, but I'm not gonna complain if we keep catching walleye, that's for sure. All right, that was great. Nice. First cast, nice, yeah. tighten up on the drag again, because you want that drag tight for the first hook set, and then you back off on it. Okay, well, he came out of 62 feet of water. My turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You need the human landing net? I don't know yet. Well, you need the landing net. You need me. It's a walleye. Oh, another walleye. Come yeah. on. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. This is unbelievable. Really, really. We're seriously looking for... Look at that. It's a nice walleye. Oh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you put the peanut bunker on. Oh, and you tipped it with a worm. I see that. <laughs> 
Look at what Antonio did, folks. You saw me catch that walleye on the bunker. Trick of the tree. I didn't even see you put that on. Good for you. Okay, but look at that. He put it. I see you tipped it with a, a little piece of worm. Mm -hmm. Some of the night crawler. Nice. <laughs> That's a pretty good fish. Nice one. A very nice one. The pliers right here. Yeah, you. pliers would be best. Okay, now it's going to be very hard, Antonio, to have a special three-part sheephead series if we don't catch any sheephead. So <laughs> we we got to get with the program here. Oh. That's <laughs> okay. We'll put him in the live well. He's very lively. Oh. Very lively. Okay, nice. All right. Back out they go. We can see if we can get ourselves in the sheep head, but I'll tell you, I'm not complaining about the walleye. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not complaining about the walleye. All right. Nice. I got something. I got something smaller. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, you know what? Don't tell. It might be another walleye. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. He's starting to get some weight to him now. I have no idea. Usually the sheep head, they'll take, they'll hit and they'll take a run. Antonio, he's up here. He's up here. And it's another walleye. <laughs> it's another walleye. Okay. Unbelievable. Nice one. Like, seriously now, this is really not even funny. I mean, <laughs> these are supposed to be sheep head. <laughs> and what I've done, what we ended up doing, so there's obviously a walleye holding in this area. Um, but we're actually, we're actually anchored. So we came out here, we marked some fish. So we said, you know what, let's anchor in this area. And there's a hard bottom here because uh, when, when the sting nose get down there, you can feel it that it's a rock bottom. So looks like there's some walleye holding here too. But seriously, folks, we do want to get a sheep head today. But again, <laughs> I'm definitely not complaining. This is unbelievable. Okay, let's see if we can get in another fish here now. Just jigging off the bottom, and all I've got with the sting nose, you can tie them direct if you want. However, I always put a snap on because the snap allows it to wobble and it gives it more action. So, and it also allows me to change sizes or change colors relatively quickly. So, I like to put a single snap on when I'm using uh, jigging, any jigging spoons for that matter. Okay, let's see if we can entice another bite <laughs> the, the, the drop shot i just cast my line out and the drop shot rod went boink boink so i set the hook all right let's see what we got let's see what we got he took that juicy night crawler yeah i'm gonna need you to land him oh, he might, hey, have a drum. might have a drummer boy we shall see i don't know he's fighting i don't know it could have a good walleye too i don't know Yes, drum. we got a drum. We got our sheep head. There we go. And that is a great size to eat right there, isn't it? Beauty. Those smaller sheep head are really, really good eating right there. Okay. You, I bet you never seen someone so excited to catch a sheep head before. <laughs> but we, are you going to have a sheep head episode? Catch, cook, and clean without a sheep head, right? Oh, it's just a matter of time before we got one. There you go. Nice. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to rebate that up. We're going to get it right back down there again. <laughs> See, because we're anchored, we're, I'm casting all along, left, right, back, side. And the back of the boat always produces a hit. Always, always. This feels like a really good fish. I don't know what we got. Wow. I, I have no idea. And it's funny because he hit and I, I set the hook and I missed him the first time. And I let that bunker just go right back to the to the bottom. And I jigged it right back up again and he just nailed it on the fall. Okay. So it could be a sheep head because, well, I don't know. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna need my human landing net. I still can't believe we lost that landing net on the way out here. Honestly. I didn't see it, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see how we lost it. But don't worry folks, it wasn't my little bass net, it was another net. 
I still have my little bass net. <laughs> it's got to be a sheep head. It's got to be. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, the thing with sheep head, as you saw, he took the, uh, the drop shot, the tea drop with the worm. They will take worms. They'll take minnows. No problem. And as you can tell, they like jigging spoons. <laughs> so you got a variety of different baits that you could use when you're fishing for sheephead. And I'm telling you, it really is a lot of fun. They're strong fish, especially these bigger ones. They really give you a good battle. And aggressive, because like I say, I missed him the first time and he came right back after. Wow. That's a nice fish. That's big a one. big sheephead. That's a good one. He got stung, Antonio. He got stung. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's a good hook set, too. That's a bigger fish. Okay, there we go. Wow. That's a, look at that. Look at that fish. It's huge. <laughs> okay. So we're going to clean two sheep head then. Sounds good. A small one and a big one. You can show, you're going to do the cleaning, right? Sure. Unbelievable. Look at that sheep head. That is a big sheep head. All right. So next week, folks, part two, how to clean a sheep head. The following week, part three, we're going to cook these guys up. So glad you've enjoyed today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We'll see you next week when it's time to clean. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a big one.